Yo, what's going on, guys? And today, of course, we're going to be talking about the business are expected to offer a max rookie extension to Cade Cunningham. Yes, this news is coming out from James L. Edwards the third from The Athletic. So let's get right into today's video and talk about this news. The number one overall pick from the 2021 NBA draft is becoming eligible for a contract extension this offseason along with his fellow draft class members. Cunningham missed most of the set of his second NBA season due to injury. And, and then of course he missed this being what his fourth or his third season. So for Kate Cunningham, I think it's definitely a very, very interesting road. So he missed most of his rookie season because of injury. He only played 12 games. This year he played 62 games. He was almost 23 points, four and a half rebounds, seven and a half assists. And he shot 45% from the field as well as shot 35.5% from three. He actually looked very good this year at times. And I, I was someone who got to see, so I went to the University of Kansas and Oklahoma State's in the Big 12. And I got to see Cade Cunningham in person when he was in college. And I will admit that Cade Cunningham is one of the greatest college players I've ever seen play in person. So what do, what do we expect right here? I first think you got you got to extend Cade because who are you going to replace him with? There's nobody. Now, JL Edwards said he's 99.9% .9 sure that Cade Cunningham is going to get an extension. He doesn't want to say 100% because you never know what can happen, but he'd be stunned if the number one overall pick from the 2021 draft does not sign a max rookie extension. Depending on what the come comes out to for 2025, a max extension would be worth 225 over five seasons. Again, if they do not extend Kate Cunningham, who are you going to replace him with? And that is why you keep him. And at this point, I think the big thing with Kate, what have we learned? Kate is this offensive tempo type of guard who can run the pick and roll. He's shown he can be a shot creator. He's got great footwork and great combination of hesitations and deceptiveness. He can, you know, manipulate is the ball handling and the, the floor spacing to create his own space to generate a shot or a smart pass. And again, he's able to manipulate with his dribble, his hesitations, and just his ability to be like, again, this guy is the closest thing coming out of the draft to a Luka Doncic. And you just don't trade a player of his caliber just because he's had a rough go. Yes, he's not played more than 64 games in his career. Yes, that is a problem. But the idea is hopefully that's just for the time being and you can improve that down the road. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What would you guys do if you were the Detroit Pistons?